Hey guys, Madison here, back for another Film Friday. It's time for the Western movie of the month, and today I am watching The Man from Snowy River. I've gotten actually a lot of requests for this one over the past year or so, and I thought that today would be perfect, perfect time to watch this movie because today is Australia Day, and no, I am not an Australian, but I thought what better time to have an Australia-themed Western than today to celebrate? I know I've got some Aussie subscribers out there, so happy Australia Day to all of you. I know that this movie takes place in Australia, that's why I picked it, but other than that, I know next to nothing about it apart from that it's a Western. I think that Kirk Douglas is in this movie, and I'm, f I'm very familiar with Michael Douglas, but I am not at all familiar with his dad, Kirk Douglas. As far as I recall, I don't think I've ever seen a Kirk Douglas movie, so this might be the first. I might be wrong in that. I might have seen one and forgotten, or seen one and I didn't know it was him at the time. But as far as I know, this is my first movie starring Kirk Douglas. And yeah, guys, this is very much another blind watch for me, but I'm Looking forward to it, as I, I always do with my westerns, as you guys know, if you've been here for any length of time, you know that westerns are my favorite. And before I jump into this week's reaction, this is your monthly reminder, or if you're new here, this is Gone Outlaw, my debut novel, and I assume that if you're watching this reaction, you're probably a fan of westerns. And this novel of mine, my debut novel, is very much a classic western adventure. A revenge tale with a dash of romance, and if you like westerns, I think you're gonna like my book here. So check it out. Click the link in the description below if you want to go to the Amazon page and read the synopsis and learn whatever else you want to know about the book. And if you are a Kindle Unlimited member, you can read the book for free. Alright guys, it's time to watch the movie, so without further ado, let's jump in and let's check out The Man from Snowy River. Whoa. That scared me. I was like, is the movie frozen? Nothing's moving and then... No matter which way I figure it, not and not still equals not. If we're going to keep this place, we're going to have to get a job out of the high country. You can hire out as a team. Not as cooks. <laughs> Must be your music. <laughs> All right, I'll see to it. Love that shot. Uh-oh. This is not a good situation. Ooh, that girl. I reckon the dingo set her off. Not wild dogs, wild horses. The old thoroughbreds, Mark. It's been years since he's been on this side of the ranges. Why is he getting his gun out? One of our horses, he's done it before. There are some good horses there now. They'd be worth a fair bit. We could build a holding yard up on the flat spur and drive them in. We yard them on Kelly's track. Well, I'm already intrigued. I am a lifelong horse girl and I've watched my fair share of horse movies and <laughs> this seems kind of like a horse movie. Wild, mysterious stallion. Let's catch him. Let's tame him. Although it seems like they've got their eyes on the whole herd. My goodness. I should have put a bullet in that stallion. I'll get you down to Spurs place. <laughs> this is terrible. The gelding's broken his leg. Where's Bess? She ran off with the Brumbies. Spurs not gonna be too happy about that. Spur me. We had a lot of dreams. 
Had a good time still. Dang it, guys. I thought he was dead when that tree hit him. And then I was like, no, maybe he's okay. No, gone. Talk about things escalating quickly. Eighteen eighty eight. Well, that's it, lad. You can't stay up here. Who are they? This is my place now. I can look after myself. Lady. What gives you the right to say you can fuck? You go down to the low country and earn the right to live up here, just like your father did. So now he's losing his house too? He's just having a no good, really bad, terrible day. They blame me for this. It's a hard country. Makes for hard men. Well, this whole thing is starting very hero's journey. Spurs Wallaby Stew, spoken of in hushed and reverent tones. <laughs> How's that mare Bess? She ran off with the Brumbies. The old thoroughbreds, Mo. The big black. I remember that animal. Brumbies. I don't know that word. Is that an Australian horse term? I'll run down that mob and fetch her back. Sure and on foot, too. Come on. I have no notion of his breeding, but he's a mountain horse. A good one. He's yours. A man without a horse like a man without legs. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll get the mare back. Forget the mare, you duffer. Don't throw effort after foolishness. He's a cute horse. For you, so I can get down to two guineas an inch. That's got to be Kirk Douglas. Michael Douglas looks just like his dad. Who is that? Addison. Beginning his cult. They say it's worth a thousand pounds. Mr. Patterson! Listen, I'm sorry about this blasted circle. No, anything to get me away from the city. Especially when it's to bring you the finest cult in the colony. Old regret. The last cult she fooled. Irreplaceable. I want to see this cult. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> Uh-oh, he doesn't like dogs. If I needed your help, mate, I would have asked for it. Love at first sight. <laughs> Love at first glare. I think we're all indebted to young Mr. Craig. Jim Craig, Andrew Patterson. Well, that was uh, Mr. Harrison and his charming daughter Jessica. If ever we can return the phone, let us know. I'm looking for work, sir. Well, in that case, I suppose we'd better try and find your work then. I'll give you a letter. Damn you, Clancy. Always sneaking around. You and your partner still searching for El Dorado then? Henry Craig's dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, just when good color was showing too. You've been saying that for near 20 years. No, the only way to shut that mouth is with some food. Come on. Been offering me food for 20 years, too. All I ever get's wallaby stew. Wallabies. I know what those are. I'll give you a try. Use your wages and keep. Make yourself known to the form. Thank you, sir. Tasty, huh? In a toxic, festering sort of way. The new miracle cure for appetite. I don't know who this guy is, but he seems cool. Take a look at this. Now that's the kind of color I've been getting lately. Now that's much better than anything I ever saw up there in 49. Now I go down, sink a shaft, and we're smack on top of the richest vein. Yeah, the lad doesn't know it yet, but he inherits his father's share, no matter what it is. Hmm. He could sure use it. Look at that. I'm Jim Cray. Pretty smart for a mountain fella. Using the flat end and everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, are they the local bullies? Have they given you the day off? I'm studying to be supervisor. Studying to be stupid. Hmm, he deserved that. Morning, Miss Jessica. Morning. I get kept out for you, saddle him up. No, thank you. Well, I'll be about my duty then, Miss. Getting the hang of it, son? I'll be back later to check on your work. Fakers. Uh, can I help? No, no, I can manage. Show me how you did that. Good job, man. Girl is impressed. Mm -hmm. That's right. Pull it through. You got it. I'm 
And this one goes through there. <laughs> They're really gonna hate him now. Craig, cool off the horse and stable. Yes, sir. Jessica. I don't know this actress, but she reminds me of Charlotte Riley. The mannerisms, the way she moves, jawline, eyes and stuff, she reminds me of her. I didn't raise you to be a midwife to herd of horses. The men can handle that. It's not an occupation for a lady. The word become old fashioned. It's become an excuse to keep women under control. Well, please spare me your aunt's feminist rubbish. Who should be thinking of marriage, children? The well-known cattle breeder has a breeding program for his daughter as well. They're starting a high country muster in a couple of days. Gonna be early winter, according to Kane. I reckon the boss will hold the muster till Clancy gets here. Clancy, that's who showed up at the miner's place. Well, what's so special about Clancy, then? He's a horseman. Clancy's a, a magician. He's a genius. A horse whisperer. He and my father were mates. <laughs> mates! <laughs> mates! <laughs> mates. <laughs> it's okay, they'll be proven wrong later. Uh, the Clancy's coming. Uh, they all come out to gawk at him, huh? Not often they get a chance to meet a legend. Jim Craig, isn't it? Been a long time. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take that, boys. I'm very sorry to hear about your father. He was a good mate. A good mate, guys. You hear that? They were friends. Yeah. Rosemary, you never appreciate the sacrifices made in building a property like this. Would you pass the decanter, please? Realize... That women may also enjoy what custom deems is a man's privilege. Women should have the right to do anything they're capable of. My own daughter infected with your nonsense. Your own daughter, as you well know, has a good mind. She has a way with horses and an eye for stock breeding. Now, would you have these gifts developed or would you condemn her to domestic dullness? You should be in a lady's college and not in a stable. Rosemary, if you're finished with the port. Quite. Here's to those long gone days on the trail. Well, for me, they're not long gone. So here's their future. Ah, oh, there's no future there, Clancy. We've got the railways and roads now. The I country, see mate. the day when we'll be one of the great food producing areas in the world. And you have it all under control. Mm -hmm. Except for those mountains. And if I had the capital, I'd run. Praise be the lack of capital is all that I can say, say gentlemen. May I propose a toast to our two romantics? To one who sees what is and one who sees what can be. Lord grant that the two are compatible. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Mr. Harrison was just talking of taming the Snowy River country. I think you might sooner hold back the tide than tame the mountains. <laughs> He's not going to like hearing that. Among the quality of the mountain people. Does that include your brother? I have no brother. He has a brother? Is that guy with the false leg his brother, by any chance? I want everyone saddled and packed by sunrise. We'll lead at the ferry homestead. Anything special we've got to take? You won't be going on this, Master Jim. I don't make the orders. When I give him, that's the end of it. Did Mr. Spur say that he wasn't going to be allowed to go on that muster? Why? Why me? You'll get your chance, Jim. He might wish he hadn't left Jim at the ranch to hang around his daughter. Really, Jessica, you're attacking that piece with all the sensitivity of a road mender. <laughs> Mrs. Bailey said I should bring this up. Your timing is Jessica's salvation. Will you join us for tea? Male company will be a pleasant relief in this hot house of female emotions. First tea date. <laughs> We're both feeling sorry for ourselves today. Neither is where we want to be. I think they're trying to make a butler out of me. <laughs> well, they're trying to make a lady out of me. They won't have no luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, hang on, that's not what I mean. And they won't make a gentleman out of you either. Did you play? Before my mum died, she was starting to teach me. I never knew my mother. I bet she was pretty, like you. <laughs> he recovered nicely. He started off kind of on the wrong foot, but he recovered. I've got a few jobs to finish before dinner time. So much for that tea date. It's okay. He scored a few points. <laughs> Suddenly she's playing better. She's in a better mood. He's a pretty thing. There's not a mean bone in his body. Curly will find one. He does all the breaking around here. You've got to be firm with a young horse. But not cruel. You work with a horse, not against him. That's what my father taught me. Are you saying you could break this horse? What about your father? He'll be away for more than a week. <laughs> if the job's done before he gets back, what can he say? He will not be pleased, but he might be impressed. God, that is a beautiful horse. Bonding over horse training.
Getting some good desensitizing work in. That's a beautiful shot there. I love how they use the piano as part of the soundtrack, but then she's actually playing in the movie. <laughs> Ominous. Wild Stallion is going to strike again. Yep. It's like a horse ambush every time this stallion shows up. Oh, there's Bessie. Jim, don't you dare! This is a bad idea. He doesn't have a saddle on, he doesn't have a rope to get the mayor. I mean, yeah, there he goes. Oh my gosh. or something. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh lord. <laughs> but I don't think that was supposed to be funny, but it was. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm not hiding behind the skirts of a bunch of women. Well, somebody's got to save you from your own thoughtlessness. That's the last time I'll stand up for the likes of you. Jessica. You are a foolish boy, Jim. She's not wrong. That was quite stupid what he did, but you know, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. <laughs> I love the locations in this movie. They're gorgeous. What happened? I came off the... off a horse. You think you get back on? Pick up 20 strays we left up on top? Yes, sir. Those mountain men get their grubby hands on them. Well, he's gonna get a chance to prove himself. Maybe get in Mr. Harrison's good graces till he finds out about his budding relationship with Jessica. I saw Bess again with the Brumbies. I told you not to throw effort after foolishness. Forget it. How are things going on down there? I'm working for a fellow called Harrison. He reminds me of someone. You never told me you had a brother. I knew it. I'll be searching for his strays for weeks. Not if you know where to look. At the first hint of snow, every beast on this plateau heads for the bluff. Gather him up with a butterfly net. Rubby hands. Harrison was right. Might make a good cattleman yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. It's so pretty. It's about to find out this horse is broke. Oh, he's seeing the saddle marks on him. What happened to the coat? The bruise in the foreleg. Black soil from the bottom paddock still on the hoofs. And a girth mark around the horse's belly. What does that add up to, huh? We were breaking him in. We? Jim's very good with horses. Uh, mountain. Now wait. He was riding it when the Brumbies came down. He went to save the stock horses. What stupidity. He gets off this place the moment he gets back. Darn it. Father, please. You're bored at the Presbyterian Ladies' College. No, I won't go. <sighs> You're as deceitful as your mother. Okay, that's a no-no. Mr. Harrison, I do not approve. You wouldn't dare break the spirit of that wretched cult the way you've just crushed your own daughter. My daughter? You really believe that? What? So he's like questioning if she's actually his daughter? Did some drama go down between him and his brother? And were they fighting over the same lady, her mother? So much family drama happening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now all we need is a butterfly net. There are the cows. Windy up there. This could get very dangerous very quickly. Oh, 
Uh oh, storm approaching. Not good to be on a really high mountain under trees. If you don't get struck by lightning, one could fall over on you. Oh my gosh, this is bad. <laughs> I don't understand. She's never done anything like this before. Well, maybe you've never slapped her across the face. Can you blame her? You gotta find her quick. The men are drunk. They won't be any use to us. I want them ready to ride in 10 minutes. Some ranch hands they are. All right, up. Come on, tall man. Jessica's gone and got herself lost. I need a tracker and you're it. Five minutes. Oh my gosh, I would be freaking out. I do not like heights. Nope. How in the world is he going to get her? Is he going to have to like throw a rope down or something? Boss, the men are exhausted and there's a storm coming up. And my daughter's out there in it. In a few minutes, we're not going to be able to see anything. Another storm. Gosh. He better like thank Jim for the... <gasps> Jessica! Her horse is dead? Oh my gosh. What I was saying is her dad is gonna owe Jim everything if he gets to her and saves her first. He will no longer be able to fire him. Do not let go. Oh, we don't get to see the climb. Come on. <laughs> I feel like that was a little bit of a cop out. Give me the tension of her trying to climb up those rocks. So that's it, eh? No more working for the old your father. I never thought I'd be sorry about that. Why are you sorry? I miss seeing you. You won't miss seeing me, because I'm not going back. All I wanted was to see you again, to be with you. Nothing else. So I hung on until you came. There'll be men out looking for you, risking their lives. Anyhow, I've got to get the cattle down. Haven't you been listening to me? Yeah, it's just that I have to finish this job. I'll take you to Spurs Place and come back for the cattle. She just made a love confession, dude, and you're just completely brushing it aside. Give her some hope, man. I'm sorry. That's it? I'm sorry? <laughs> so peaceful. Kiss her. There we go. Okay. Bro's making his move now. Thought he was gonna miss his chance. Now our dad's gonna be ticked off though. Because <laughs> he's gonna think she ran off with Jim. Hair's all down and stuff. It's gonna be scandalous. It's beautiful. Wait till that gets here. You might want to get down off the mountain. One minute it's like paradise the next it's trying to kill you you've got to treat the mountains like a high-spirited horse never take them for granted it's the same with people too i have to say there are some gorgeous shots in this movie i love the cinematography nothing no cover Oh shoot, get out, get out. I was afraid that was gonna happen. That's what you've been trying to tell me all these years, huh? That you're up here. <laughs> Ooh, we have struck gold. What a strange place. Who is this spur? I thought you knew him. Well, where should I? You wait here. I'll check down at the creek. Hello? Is that her mother? Oh boy. Matilda. I found the gold. I'm Jessica. You've grown up? Jess, this is Spur. He's your uncle. Your father's brother. She didn't even know about him. Why do you keep this portrait of my mother? It's a lot of pain. 
and suffering when you try to dig up the past. Jess has to get home, and I've got to go back for the cattle. Can you take her down? Sure. You look after her for me, then. Oh, I'll look after her like you were my own daughter. I'm kind of scared to ask this question, but is Kirk Douglas playing both brothers? I'm like 99% sure at this point. <laughs> This is going to be interesting. Why haven't I ever been told about Spur? About 20 years ago, two brothers fell in love with the prettiest girl in the district. Well, both the men wanted her hand in marriage, but she couldn't choose between them. So she decided that the first one to make his fortune would be her husband. One of the men scraped all his savings together and gambled in one bold throw. A horse named Pardon in the cup. It won at 50 to 1. He was wealthy. Father, in Spur? He went looking for gold. Well, that's a poor way to choose, Matilda. Not picking who you love, but just picking who makes the most money first. And you gave me my favorite piece, too. A plump breast. Unless it be tenderloin. Oh! Oh, you're a cruel woman. Yeah, so the right. moment I walked in here, I said to myself, this is a woman to satisfy a man's appetites. Oh, gosh. How's Jessica? She's fine. A spur was uh, just helping me get her supper ready. Uh-huh. Hey, I think we'd better be going. We'll let the weather clear a bit. I want to see it. Yes. Forgive me. <laughs> my thanks to you for my daughter's safe return. It's time we had a talk. You just rest, Tess. Come. Is this going to be interesting? What's he going to do here? Offer to promote him? Would he let Jim marry his daughter? You're very fond of my daughter, huh? I love her. To take a girl who's been brought up to this and put her in a bark hut. We'd make do. Living on air? He's going to try to scare him out of it. You have a spark of manhood in you, you know that the right thing for you to do is to walk away. Now, hang on. If I didn't carve this place out of the bush to see Jessica run off with the first fortune hunter to come along. You bastard. Jim. All right, we're going to get confirmation now. They're in the same room. We'll see how they shoot this scene. Didn't recognize you without a gun. Get out. What is going on? Come on, Jessica, back to bed. Oh, no, I'm sick of secrets. Get out of here, all! You what? Blow off the other one. Blow off the other leg. I have a right to know. Oh, for heaven's sake, Harrison. Spur gave your mother a wedding present, a young colt. But your father couldn't stand the thought of another man giving her anything. I wanted to shoot the animal. Your mother feared for the horse, and she turned it loose. Spur saw it running free, and he came to tell her. And your father found them together. Your father was in a rage, and Spur was shot. Matilda decided to leave. <laughs> You're more part of this gym than you realize. Matilda's colt is now the old stallion. Yeah. He leads the Brumbies. Spur. Mm. You know, I haven't had so much feminine attention in years. I like it. I'm leaving too. Then I'm coming with you. No, it couldn't work, Jess. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't let her dad scare you out of it. You have just as much to offer. It's not about money. It's about happiness and true love. You've said enough tonight. Turning Jessica against me. Whose child is she? <laughs> if you really knew Matilda, you could never ask that. Of course she's yours. But you don't deserve her. Kirk Douglas arguing with himself. It's great. <laughs> oh, manicured. Oh. Did you break in more than the cult while you were up on that muster, eh? Yeah. Did you have to use your spurs, boy? He deserved that. Kelly! Lose the bottle. Good job, man. Mountain Boy's got some moves. Oh. 
Dang. <laughs> Man could be hard to find in the mountains. You're welcome at my fire anytime. <laughs> that was great. Poor Jessica. That moss is worth one thousand pounds, Moss. That's more than you'd earn in a lifetime. What is he doing? <laughs> I hate that guy. He's gonna blame Jim for this. Colts join the Brumby mob. Somebody set him loose. No prizes guessing who. You don't drink with your partner? Partner? The gold mine. Your father always had a half share in it. Do you reckon there's enough in it for two? You better have a drink. Maybe the only thing you ever get out of the partnership. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Clancy, you never could hear anyone else when you were doing the talking, mate. Good day, Jim. Aren't you heading in the wrong direction? Heading back to Harrison. Somebody let Harrison's cult go. He's joined the Brumbies. There's a mob of us going after him in the morning. I thought you might want to be in it. Mm hmm What's the first thing you do when a horse bucks you off? You don't let him beat you, you get straight back on. Well? No, Clancy. Come on, Jim. Harrison's blaming you for it. Why? Me? And you expect me to go back and help him? It's asking too much of a man. Man, did you say? That's what my father raised me to be. Hey, if Jim wants Jessica, he'll do it because that'll prove that he didn't let the colt loose and then her dad will owe him for saving the colt. Fences mended. Where's Clancy? He's not here. We can't wait. I appreciate the speed with which you responded to my call. My colt is running with the most cunning mob that ever crossed the ranges. I positioned scouts to send up flares as soon as they're sighted. Come to Zephyr's handiwork. If he'd done it, he wouldn't be here. You believe that? I want him along. As you wish. He'll dig his own grave. You're along for the ride, Jim. There will be reward when the colt is recovered. 100 pounds. 100 pounds. Jim could sure use that money. Fancy, wheel them to the right. No fancy riding. Go at them from the jump. Oh boy. Look at that. This would have been so hard to shoot. Oh goodness. There went one guy. Uh, don't you screw things up, Curly, or whatever your name is. Hey, what a dirty move. Haha, <laughs> justice. Is now going down that way. You can bid the mob good day. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was like, well, they're done. And then he just jumps off the cliff. That was amazing but incredibly dangerous. <sighs> go, Jim, go. Cue Run Boy Run by Wood Kid. <laughs> oh wow, there's snow.
Okay, that twinkly music right as they went through the snow was perfection. <laughs> So what happens now? Glory be! Will you look at that? Ah! Way to go, Jim. Ah! Clancy is impressed. That horse Jim was riding deserves all the awards. <laughs> all the carrots he can eat. Promised a hundred pounds. It's yours. That's not why I rode. There are a dozen good broodmares in that mob. I'll be back for them. And for whatever else is mine. Mm. She's not for you. Jessica can make up her own mind about that. We got a long way to go yet, lad. He's not a lad, brother. He's a man. A man from Snowy River. I love it. It's kind of sad how long it took me to realize that Kirk Douglas was playing both brothers. <laughs> I think I realized it like after I realized that they were brothers and I was like, wait a second, is Spur just like Kirk Douglas and a lot of hair and makeup? <laughs> it was. That was really fun. I liked seeing him play both characters that were so different. One being like kind of the, the rich, rancher like kind of the clean cut guy and then the really rough like mountain man i loved seeing him play those two different characters that was a lot of fun and i loved this movie it was it was like part western part romance and part horse movie and like all three of those things combined and it was just a really fun, really beautifully shot movie. I really liked the characters. It was not hard at all to root for Jim. He was just a good, nice, likable guy with a lot of uh, endearing qualities. He was, he was brave, he was hardworking, he wanted to do the right thing. And in the end, he wanted to do right by Jessica. He wanted to get his, his home set up, like get a business going with the horses. And it was, it was cool that he didn't want to just take Harrison's, Mr. Harrison's money. He wanted to come back and take the horses and like not just take money, but takes, take product, basically take animals that he could then build a business off of. Because as we've seen, he's good at working with horses. So yeah, and we, we have a little doubt. We know he's going to come back for, for Jessica. I, you know, they didn't have to show that. Just implying it was enough. We knew that they were in love and that he was going to come back for her when he came back to get the horses. And uh, sometimes just leaving that there with a suggestion is enough. And I think this ending really worked. I liked that twist with the first cult out of that mare that Spur wanted to give to Matilda. I like that that was the wild stallion that had been roaming the mountains for years. And then the new colt that Mr. Harrison got was the, the last colt out of that mare. That was a cool connection that they did in the story. I liked that a lot. And I loved the family drama with Matilda and the two brothers. That was an interesting twist that added some complexity to the plot. At first, you know, it seemed like a pretty simple plot. With the guy trying to get the girl and the dad, you know putting some complication in there. But I liked the added element of the family backstory and the family drama with Jessica wanting answers. That was interesting to watch. And I really liked her too. Kind of the classic fiery horse girl, farm girl archetype that we see in a lot of horse movies. <laughs> uh, she was 
she was quite cliche, if you will, in that way. But I really ended up liking her as a character. She really grew on me over the course of the movie. Um, her connection with Jim, watching them together, they were so cute. I liked their their romance. Yeah, she she ended up being very, very likable as well. Very easy to root for her and Jim. And I loved watching them, or her watching him train the horse, like seeing them working together and that bond forming. I loved that sequence. And man, there was just a lot of gorgeous, like, horse helicopter shots in this movie. And just that chase sequence at the end with Jim chasing down the horses and all the other guys trying to catch the horses was amazing. I was like imagining how difficult and dangerous it would have been to shoot probably with a bunch of stuntmen riding these horses at full speed through the mountains and the woods and the river. Like I was, I was thinking to myself, like if this scene went off without a hitch and there were no accidents, no injuries, that's amazing <laughs> because of the chaos of the scene. And the length of the scene too, like the amount of footage they had to get was a lot. Yeah, that scene was very, very impressive. The music in this movie too was really beautiful. Yeah, this movie was right up my alley. You guys knew what you were doing when you recommended it to me. <laughs> As I mentioned at the start, I am very much a horse girl. Like the movies I watched over and over and over growing up were like the Black Stallion Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, Hidalgo, like I loved those movies. I watched like everything horse related I could get my hands on. <laughs> I grew up watching series like I used to watch the Saddle Club, the Australian series back in the day. Um, I'm a huge Heartland fan to this day, like telling y'all, horse girl. <laughs> um, so this movie felt like very familiar even though I had never seen it because it felt very much like a horse movie and it kind of like crossed with western and uh, again like romance I just yeah this movie was right up my alley I really enjoyed it so thank you guys for recommending it to me I hope you enjoy this reaction if you want to see the full length version of this reaction you can find that over on my patreon link in the description below thanks so much for watching be sure to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys next week for another film friday bye guys <laughs>